Hey guys, welcome to my channel. No. <laughs> Hello everyone. Mm -mm. No. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kelsey Romito and my husband and I bought a fixer upper and we are so excited to be doing a bunch of projects. I've been wanting to make a channel for a long time. I have lots of things that I wanna do, so subscribe to this channel so you can come along on the journey with me as we remodel this house room by room. Okay, so I wanted to start off here in the front room. This will be the kids' living room, and um, they'll have a TV and some different things in here. So this is not the first project, but I wanted to show you this so you can understand why I'm doing what I'm doing on the first project. So here's the stairs, and you can walk straight forward, and this is the main living room. Ignore the tape on the floor. That's a sneak peek, a hint at future projects. So this is the living room here. It's a pretty good size, but it's kind of boring. It's just a blank slate. So the plan is I want to do built-ins right here with a the TV up top and a um, fireplace underneath. But the problem is there's this door right here. So this door goes to under the stairs. It's a bunch of storage, which is awesome. I'm happy to have the space. There's some real life for you right here, bunch of home decor. So I want to switch this door to the other side of the closet right there. So that way we won't have to worry about having this door open whenever we are putting our built-ins in. We don't have to worry about that door opening and so we can just have the built-ins go in as out as far as we want. So today is day two of our living room project. It's also day two here. So today we have to work on closing up that hole over there in the living room, on the living room wall so we can put our built-ins there and then cutting the hole for the doorway in the other room. We got one of the cabinets assembled 
and we have three more to do because there'll be two cabinets on either side with the fireplace and the TV in the middle. So lots to do today, so let's go ahead and get started. up a lot and I'm like should I keep some of this in So we're on day three of the remodel of the living room. I did not get as much done as I wanted to yesterday. I didn't get the bookshelves done and I was on, let me show you. I was on the second coat of the door here. So we got the second coat of the joint compound up. I didn't do this side. Um, right here because that's gonna be covered by the bookshelf so I didn't even worry about it but what took me so long was this light fixture that was right here had to be switched to the other side of the wall so the closet would have a light fixture in there and you wouldn't have to like turn on the light fixture to the closet from the living room that would be super weird but anyway so I'm not an electrician but I know a little bit about electrical work, but it was honestly kind of enraging me. So I didn't film it, but we got it done. It totally works. So now we're gonna work on getting the bookshelves together. Good morning, it's a new day. We have all of the bookshelves built. Let me show you. 
So these are all built and in place and I have been mapping out where I want the TV and the mantle and the fireplace to go. So what's left right now, I'm so excited. We get to build the wall for the middle so we can actually start putting all of this together. So let's go build a wall. So we're gonna start by installing some supports for the wall. I've marked out my studs here, but I, it doesn't go all the way to the cabinets. Like I don't have studs right next to it. So what I wanna do is install basically horizontal studs like this. So whenever we screw the walls in, I mean the side walls into this back wall, we basically have this stud all the way across. So we don't have to worry about hitting a stud vertically. boards down with my table saw for the edge pieces so let's go put on the last two pieces.
So I want to cover up this seam right here in the middle of the bookshelves. I think it'll look more custom to do it that way. So I'm just going to add a piece of trim and just like that, nail it in. Good morning, fingers crossed this is the last day on this project. Uh, all we have to do today is paint. I'm not sure if it picks up on camera, but the shiplap part is kind of like a whiter white than the shelves. And so what we have to do is we color match the shelves and we're gonna paint the shiplap so they don't look like different colors. So then we have to also build the mantle that goes underneath the TV and then mount the TV and that should be it for part one of this living room makeover.
the sings Cause I'm the one that's rambling in Knew that you'd be in the lake Just in time to resuscitate Something's off for the mist, it seems Running away from all our childhood dreams You're the one who still wants it all Lance the man that cannot seem to recall Since 17 Something's off for a mystic seems 